Hi, and welcome back to Garden Ninja. Now it's day one of the build of the BBC Sunshine Garden and I'm here at Tappan Park, early doors, to start marking out the pot. So I'm going to be taking this and then in about a week's time, it'll be all here in the ground, looking absolutely amazing. But for now, it's just bare earth. So I'm gonna get my spray line out, start marking out the different areas of the paths and where the arbor's going to go. I'm gonna keep you updated on this, the progress of the BBC Sunshine Garden at Tappan 2019. So it's day two on the build here at RHS Tatton and we've got loads done today. So if you can see behind me, we've got the paving down, which is the yellow granite from CD Stone. We've got one of the fence posts in there, and Jackson's have provided some lovely fence panels that are gonna complement the arbor and the design really nicely. So loads has happened today. Tomorrow the fencing is gonna go in. I'm gonna to start to seal the stone and make preparations for the tree and the other shrubs to arrive. So more from me tomorrow, the Garden Ninja. Welcome back to Garden Ninja, it's day three, it's been throwing it down with the rain all afternoon. Um, everyone's looking really busy, people are busy beavering away. We've got all of our paving down today, which is fantastic. The fence panels and all the um, Venetian panels are in. We've got a bit of a make-do cover because some of the paving has just been set down so we don't need to get too wet. But tomorrow the plants arrive, the amazing arbor's gonna come, the green reef goes on and it all starts to kick to life tomorrow. So this is probably about as much as I'm gonna do today. My hair's a mess, I'm wet, I'm going home. Bye. Hi and welcome back to Garden Ninja. We are on day three of build. The incredible, incredible, incredible arbour has gone in. The paving's all finished. The sort of the hard landscaping's all done now, so it's time to move on to planting. Now, I'd love to show you it all, but I'm going to keep an element of surprise. But I can say that the arbour that Graham Lees has built is just absolutely wonderful. So I cannot wait to start planting tomorrow. Check back for more from me, the Garden Ninja. Lines, 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 lots of lines. Arbour, arbour. Welcome back to Garden Ninja. Now it's day five on the Sunshine Garden for BBC Northwest tonight in memory of Diane Oxbury. And today, me and the team have been planting up these red hot borders. So we've got the Friars Rose in memory of Diane that's gone in next to the arbor. And you can see behind me, we've started on the red hot borders full of like Hellaniums, Rebecca, and really bright sunshine, positive, enthusiastic plants. So I'm not gonna to give too much away because you're gonna to have to come and see it next week. Tomorrow we're going to be carrying on the planting scheme and weaving some more interesting specimens around the front of the garden. So check back from me, Garden Ninja. So it's the day before press day here at Tatton and the garden is now complete and I absolutely cannot wait to show the general public what we've achieved in this small space in memory of Diane. So we've got all the hot colours, we've got the arbour behind us that's been handcrafted by Graham, the potting bench, the fruit tree and all these pollen rich plants. I can't wait to give people a tour around this garden and see what they think.
lastly we'd like to thank all the sponsors that have made the garden possible with Jackson's Fencing, CD Stone, Graham Lease's Carpentry, Morrison Boulder Builders, Bernard's Plants and everyone else who's contributed either their time or their horticultural expertise to make this happen. I've been Garden Ninja, happy gardening.